Good evening, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll here. So for tonight's magical dining review, I'm going to be eating at the Ravenous Pig. It's my first time ever coming here, and I'm super excited. My third magical dining um, experience for this year, 2022. Um, I'm going to be joining with my friend Bao, and it's his first time also eating here. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys along. We're going to check in for our reservations and show you what we're about to eat. All right, since we are early for our reservations, we decided to hang out. This bar is a really cool bar out here. And, and it's in the AC, so I can't complain. This is a look at their cocktail menu, but they also can do mocktails. So if you don't want to drink alcohol, you can just tell the bartender you want a mocktail and they can make whatever flavor you want for you. Okay, guys, so for um, my uh, mocktail, I had got the strawberry flavored one and it has a little orange on the top. They serve it in this like wine glass looking thing. And then Bao had got the. What was the name of yours? Um, it's a strawberry lime mocktail. Uh, yeah, and then it has the like the same leaves they use for the mojitos on top. It looks very fancy. <laughs> So I already had like a few of the sips of this mocktail and it's really good. It's so refreshing and it's sweet. <laughs> I just can't wait till we be able to sit down and have dinner because that's what I'm really looking forward to is the food. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is going to be a look at their magical dining menu. The top is the appetizers, the second is the entrees, and third is the desserts. They also brought out the regular menu just in case you guys want to get something from here. Alright, so the appetizers, it has a ride, I had got the pork burnt ends. They used to have pork belly, but I guess they stopped serving it, so now they just have the pork bent. And, and then Bao had got the salad. The salad actually looks really, really good. It's pretty delicious. Maybe I should have got that. It's very good. But we're about to go dig in into our appetizer right now. I've taken a couple bites of the pork, and it's very, very similar to the pork belly. So I'm kind of glad that they have this. I mean, it's almost this, almost the same exact thing I'm flavoring, but it's really good. Okay guys, this bread was an extra charge. It was $12, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be worth it because it's not like pre-made. Once you order it, they freshly bake it. So it's, it's like fresh out the oven. And look at this. It just smells so good. I can't wait to bite into it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Finally, the entrees had arrived. Um, Bao had got the shrimp. I can't remember what else was in it. And it just looks really bubbly. <laughs> And then for my entree, I had got the steak fries. I was at French fries and the steak. I had got my steak medium, so I'm about to go dig it. So for dessert, Bao and I had got the same exact one. We got the s'mores. So on top is the marshmallow, and then inside it's like the I think the graham crackers. I'm not sure, but it looks really fancy in this little glass mason jar. Uh, we got the same exact dessert as me. <laughs> And then I still have so much fries, they, they loaded my whole plate like a volcano with too many fries. But yeah, we're gonna go dig into our, our dessert now. <laughs> Alright guys, so just finished having dinner at the Ravenous Pig. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys, even though it's a Michelin star restaurant, like my expectations was like more than what I thought it would be. Like I had reservations for five. And literally the food and stuff didn't come out till an hour later. Oh, and, I, and then I also had to keep asking for a refill my water and everything. And then Bao's um, dish, that shrimp thing, he said it was super watery, right? Yeah, for a risotto. <laughs> yes. I, I was eating a soup. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it didn't look like I even tried one to yeah. see if it was just his opinion. Because, you know, what one person might not like, another person might. So I was like, let me try a piece of it. And he was totally right. It was very watered down and wasn't as great as I thought it would be. And um, my steak fries, it was it was okay. It was I mean it, co it was cooked the way I liked it, but I don't know. It was I, like I said, I was expecting way more. Honestly, I felt like the dessert was the best part out of the whole three course meal. And that bread that we paid the extra twelve bucks for, it wasn't. I don't know. It was I mean like I liked how it was freshly baked. But I don't know, like I, I was very disappointed to be honest with you guys. I've, this is my third magical dining out of, yeah, for this year of 2022. And honestly, it wasn't, 
the best out of all three that I've been to. I can't, I, I was like, I'm just being honest. Maybe when you guys go, you probably have a better experience than I did or better service or better food. I don't know, but it was my first time and I wasn't really impressed. But let me know in the comments below, are you guys planning to come out here? Or have you already been out here? Um, I would like to hear your opinions, but I overall I still hope you enjoyed my our dining review at the Ravenous Pig in Winter Park. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye.